Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? So in the new canon Kylo Ren comic by Marvel, which will be coming out September 25th, we'll be getting a closer look at Kylo's ties to Darth Vader. The preview that we got on StarWars.com isn't much, but it's enough to give us an idea of what Kylo gets up to behind the movie scenes. Now, it takes place before The Last Jedi because on the website, it says somewhere deep in wild space, the First Order's future leader arrives to negotiate with the Benethi. So if he's the future Supreme Leader, and not the Supreme Leader yet, then that means The Last Jedi hasn't taken place yet. And since The Last Jedi was right after The Force Awakens, with no time to waste between, that means this could very well be before Episode 7 as well. So the comic starts off, and of course I'm going to be covering this in full when it comes out, but from what we got, I can basically just summarize this. The comic starts off with an old Captain of the Empire, which is really cool to see. This was when Sidious was the Emperor and Vader was still leading the Imperial Army to battle. Captain Ruthford begins to suit up his old suit when a First Order trooper tells him that they have new armor. The Captain informs the young soldier that he has been fighting in the army for a long time, that he wears old armor because he's an old soldier. We can see by his markings that he was a commander of his unit, marked by his orange pauldron on his shoulder to denote the rank. He would have fought on the front lines with Vader himself. Now, when Vader would go to battle, he wouldn't just hang back. He would be at the very front of the lines with his men. His hunger for blood and confidence struck fear into everyone he fought against, while boosting the morale of his army behind him. As Commander Ruthford tells the young cadet that he's going to inform Kylo Ren of their arrival, we see Ben Swolo meditating as his lightsaber hilt and other objects float around the room. Suiting up, he goes to the bridge, where he's informed that they, whoever they are, have erected a tent for the negotiations. However, should negotiations not go the way they plan, then their army will do what must be done. As Kylo tells the soldier that he's the only soldier left alive from the battle here, where we then learn that this place is the same enemy lines that Vader and his army stormed in the past, with the same commander alongside with him. Commander Ruthford tells him that he just got lucky, that's why he's still alive. Kylo knows that's not the case, so he promotes him to accompany him and advise him. We see a nice comparison of Vader leading his troops with the old generation of At-At walkers and the new generation of ATM-6 walkers. Kylo makes a remark that he will succeed, insinuating Vader failed, which makes me kind of think that Kylo is way too arrogant to think that he can succeed where Vader didn't, which is exactly how Commander Ruthford feels. He tells Kylo that Vader didn't necessarily fail because he did subdue them. As Kylo and Vader's old war commander lead the way to the tent, he asks Commander Ruthford what he can tell him about the Benethi. They're a proud race, stubborn, they value size and strength above all else. Which is why I have come, says Kylo, as Commander Ruthford seems somewhat speechless to the response. And that's the end of the little preview snippet that we got. I can't wait to know more about what Kylo does on this planet and more about the Benethi and what Vader did with them as well. I hope we get to see more tie-ins between Kylo and Vader as the comic goes on, or as the issues continue even, and then we could maybe even see what Kylo meant in The Force Awakens when he said, show me again, the darkness. That's something that always kind of confused me, is that was Vader actually ever really talking to him, or was it just something that Snoke put into his mind? I guess that's another video that I can make another time. Thanks for watching this preview, hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill your destiny.